What's up, family? It's going down, it's going down. If you are new to the broadcast, the way we do it, you let me know what city, what state you represent. If you're outside of the US, let me know what country you're repping. I give out some shout outs and then I'm going in. Very you know, what city, what state you represent. If you're outside of the US, let me know what country you're repping. I give out some shout outs and then I'm going in. Very you know, what city, what state you represent. If you're outside of the US, let me know what country you're repping. I give out some shout outs. Here it is. Damn. In your face, you got to say this is a dope jam. What y'all know about that? Y'all know nothing about that. Y'all know about that D. What y'all know about that Chuck D with those lyrics? Okay. Uh, Tisha Lindsay says, all of this judgment, there are many young black women in need of guidance. This is why he was able to manipulate them they need compassion, not judgment. He purposely targeted them. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. So I'll get into the comments a little bit later, but right now I just want to give out some shout outs. Uh, Derek Ravenel, uh, South Carolina. Okay, I'm not seeing y'all, y'all not dropping your, um, you're not dropping your, 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 your locations. There we go. Rochester in the building, Love Brown, 3000, what up? DJ Ray V, Charlotte, North Carolina, 573 Columbus, Missouri, Black Dahlia, what's up? Tammy Freeman, Jackson, Mississippi. Absolutely, y'all smash up that like button. Smash up the likes, smash up the likes. There's too many people checking out the broadcast for it to not have more likes. Just a reminder, liking the video does not necessarily mean you agree with what I'm saying or the content. It just means that you appreciate me taking the time out of my busy schedule to bring this information to you in the first place. That's all it means. So smash up the likes, smash up the likes, smash up the likes. In fact, you can always take for granted that the content gonna be fire. So smash up the likes just on GP, you did. Original God, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania in the building. DC in the house, there are queen. What up, St. Paul, Minneapolis? Derek Mallory. Who is this popping in the super chat? Kevin Finley, what up, Kev? So that's what you do if you want to skip the line. You want to make sure you comment, get acknowledged, hit that super chat, and you skip the line, just like you used to do in the cafeteria in high school, middle school, and elementary, if you like me. <laughs> yeah. OK. Um, Organic Soul Gumbo, Fort Lauderdale, what up? Yes, uh, Jarvis says he's from Miami, but he lives in New York. Champ in the house. What's up, China? China White representing. Queen moderator, all over it. Play with genuine. What up? Appreciate you, homie. Holding it down. Oh, 
Okay, y'all, I'm gonna go in. Who is that? Kansas City, Missouri, Big Baby, Melanin. Chapter 40. So I'm gonna go in, y'all. So this is a story. I actually been sitting on this story for a couple of days. So you got this dude, this white guy out in South Carolina who is a well-known Florence man that's been charged with human trafficking. And his uh, victims, they say, are majority black, young black girls, especially. We're talking as young as, I believe one of the ages was like 12. So uh, bonafide pedophile here, he targets black women and he gives them a little money, a little gifts or whatever. And uh, he also threatens them with violence uh, if they don't cooperate, uh, gives them drugs, whatever. And it is, his name is Jason Roger Pope. He is a DJ in the Florence area. So this dude goes by the name of DJ Kid, Jason DJ Kid Pope. Uh, if you know this dude, you want to stay really, really, really far away from him. He is very dangerous. This dude is 42 years old. He was charged with three counts of trafficking in persons, three counts of first degree criminal sexual conduct, second degree criminal sexual conduct with a minor, promoting prostitution of a minor and kidnapping back on August 29th. Warns say that Pope recruited women and underage girls and had sex with them on various occasions between September 2017 and July 2019, providing the victims with money and gifts in exchange. They also say he held some victims against, the, victims against their will in Darlington, in Darlington and Florence in order to have them perform sexual acts. The warrants say Pope knew some of the victims were under age, under the age of 18, although they did not say if any of the women held, were held against their will were under age. The additional accusations are included in indictments and supplemental reports obtained by ABC 15 investigates through a Freedom of Information Act. Okay. So this dude had listed uh, as the subject of uh, or suspect in nine of the incidents and the complainant or victim in four. He was involved in one of them as a the third party. Five of the nine reports where Pope was listed as the suspect was sex related. So he's not out there by himself as suspected he has co-conspirators. Oftentimes, they, have, they haven't said who these co-conspirators are, but oftentimes, these dudes, uh, they team up with women. Women are very unsuspecting of women. I don't know why they trust women so much with women knowing how scandalous some women can be. Some women have friends, and they hear some of the stuff that they go, and they go, oh, my God, you did that? Oh, my God. So you know how scandalous women can be. You know that there are women rapists, women murderers, there are women co-conspirators. All of these dudes out here that's doing all this killing, uh, these, these police officers, these race soldiers, you know, they got women that they go to home to at night, right? So these women, uh, but even before that, uh, a woman gave them birth and nourished them, developed them, uh, coached them, taught them. So while they were growing up, what was she feeding? What was, what was these women putting inside of them that made them the way that they are? Their mothers raised them. So let's not give them a pass. Remember, there are some wicked women out there. There are millions of wicked women out there. And for a long time, you know, women have been pretty much getting a pass on, on being co-conspirators to the wickedness that happens in the world. I, I will say that a lot of men are wicked and, you know, 
many of these wars and stuff like that are started by men, but the women have been right there with them, feeding them, nurturing them, uh, talking to them, bouncing ideas off of them. Because oftentimes a dude go to war, he will consult with his woman or he'll tell his woman what he did. And she'll lay it right up there next to him and nurse his wounds or, or, or clean the blood off of his hands uh, and, and, and make excuses for him if, if the authorities knock on the door. So there are many, many, many wicked women out there. So women, y'all need to stop being so trusting automatically of women. An investigator was called uh, to the scene, but the public portion of the report ends. Prior to this story being published, Florence County Deputy Sheriff Glenn Kirby said both deputies listed in the report no longer work for the, dip, the, the department and staff was trying to figure out how and why the case was resolved. Now, we're talking about the first of the four uh, involving underage girls that happened before uh, December 4th, 2011. The report says that two girls aged 13 and 16 walked into a hospital and told doctors they had unprotected sex with the then 34-year-old DJ. The girls told police Pope had given them marijuana and money in exchange for sex, but nothing happened. This goes back to what I say all the time about these uh, America and rape. America is not serious about punishing predators. They're not serious about getting justice for rape victims. 90% of rape kits in America have gone untested over the last several years. So they're not serious about pursuing uh, sexual predators. Oftentimes, sexual predators are in the police force. A lot of sexual predators uh, wear those black robes. A lot of sexual predators are prosecutors. They work within the system. Sexual predators are all throughout the schools. Uh, they're in the clergy. They're in every major institution in America. And I mean in abundance. So perhaps that's why America is not serious about rape, the rape culture. Because if it was, too many heads would roll, too many powerful heads would roll. This dude bragged about having sex with these black women uh, and black girls. He was saying he was having sex with them because it was easy. You know, he said that basically he had sex with them uh, they want to have sex with him because uh, they, want th they want that experience of having sex. They think it's a step up to have sex with him because he's white. And he's just an average white dude. There ain't nothing special about him. But he's like, these, it's easy for him to have sex with these black women because uh, they, they think that he's something special be just simply because he's white. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm, I'm, let me find this quote right quick. Let me find this quote. Uh, this, this is very interesting. Where you at? Where you at, boy? see trying to find his uh trying to find his comments Keep in mind, y'all, he was only targeting black females, having, in, having sex in exchange for money, tickets, or drugs.
So he'd get these young girls to come along to his hotel room in remote areas to get them to get their tickets and prizes. Keep in mind, he's a DJ. So, you know, they're thinking that he's legit. So you get them to a remote area to pick up their prize just to have sex. And then he send them off somewhere uh, to another state or a country to be sex slaves. See, a lot of people ain't gonna even understand this until it happens to their family members or until it happens to them. Uh, this is what he said. I, I want, you know what, he, here's a, Here's one of uh, his statements. He said, I'm 36 with 693 bodies, all black females. What about you? That's one of the statements that he made on, what is this? Like, comment, share, that's Facebook. Yeah. He said, I'm 36. So this was a, you know, this was, before he hit the 700 mark. He said, I'm 36 with, three, with 693 bodies, all black females, and he gonna have bodies literally, because all of them ain't gonna make it. They're saying that he's infected at least 700 black uh, girls, black females with the HIV virus. Well, actually he said they gave, he gave all of them AIDS. Uh, I'm assuming that, that, that they're talking about the, the virus first and foremost. I don't know how, much, how many of them actually have AIDS, but uh, they're definitely in danger. Let me try to find some more of his quotes. This guy here was uh guy here was pretty busy. And the crazy thing is that this happens a lot more often than, than you think. It's not just him. There's a lot of them out there. And the thing is, too, y'all, keep this in mind. He had unprotected sex with a stranger. You can blame him. Absolutely, you blame him. But you also got to blame the women who slept with him. The trip part about it is that all of those women, it's safe to assume, have new partners and have had sex since with him has had sex after being with him imagine some of them as young as 13 years old So I'm, I'm, I had, I had dude quotes earlier. Somehow I got off the page. I am going to find that sucker. Who said sucker? Who used to say that sucker? Oh, that's a. Uh, Fred Sampson, Esther, yeah. You know what, let me get over here until I find this thing and see what you guys are saying. Let me get back over here. Remember y'all, if you wanna uh, skip the line, jump in the super chat, make sure that your comments are recognized. Guarantee that your comments are recognized. Uh, Jamie, what is that, Forsetti? What's up, Jamie? Appreciate you. 
um, the ghost. Turn up your mic. I think it's turned up. I guess I gotta, maybe I gotta speak louder, huh? Um, <laughs> uh, pressure bus pipes say you're gonna donate to the mic bond. Can't hear me. Uh, well, what about now? Can y'all hear me now? Because uh, if there's a problem, I definitely need to rectify it. Somebody let me know. Can y'all hear me now? Or am I? You can't hear me? Let me know if you can or you can't hear me. What's going on? Can't is he uh, Good sound. Okay, cool. Cool. All right. Uh, scared me for a moment. All right. So, so let me hear what you're saying. I heard somebody said. Uh, I heard uh, European American. Well, why are they sleeping with a white man? Um, let's see. Uh, Vulcanus. Salute, brother, in chat. Uh, this turns my stomach, but I've always been aware, like many other black men, that a large number of black women love white males, not pointing the finger. Uh, so, let's see. Uh, Curtis Majors, this was happening when diversity and interracial relationships become a reality. Okay, y'all, let, let, but let's keep it real. I understand the anger, but let's keep it real, y'all. Could this have happened with a black man? And is this one, because this is what I'm saying, I, I, I like to, I like to look at the, you know, I'm, I'm just playing devil's advocate here and looking at it objectively, right? Isn't, okay, so you got a white dude who, uh, that all these black women slept with and for various reasons. I'm, uh, I'm sure some of them slept with him because they thought he was cute or they thought he was charming or a good dude or whatever. And I'm sure most of them slept with him because they was coerced, uh, they was pressured uh, or threatened in some kind of manner. And then others slept with him, you know, because uh, they thought that they were going to get some type of trinket. Okay, some type of trinket. I get it. Okay, so for whatever reason, the bottom line is that he infected these women. He gave all these women HIV, right? He's white. White dude gave all these women HIV. So... The flip side of that coin could be when the police will use one black person to indict to one black person who commits a crime to indict all black people, right? So let's say one black person, let's say a black dude goes out and uh, you know he got out of jail early. They maybe let him out of jail because, you know, they're always trying to keep everybody in jail. So they let this dude out of jail and they let him because he had all had gotten all his rights restored. He was able to buy, purchase a gun. You know, they always don't want you don't want you to have a gun, uh, even if you ain't never committed a felony. But especially if you committed a felony, they don't want you with a gun. So let's say this dude had a felony. He was black. He got out of jail early and he went out and killed five people. You know that they are going to use that one case to indict all black people. 
They're going to make it public enemy number one. Or just say a black dude goes out and kill a cop. They're going to be like, oh, wait, you see, that's why the cops, that's why the cops are so afraid of black people. Him right here. So, so all the reason, so, so the, the cops' treatment of black people, all black people, is justified based on the actions of this one, right? So I think we got to be careful about trying to put all of these cats, trying to put, trying to make this dude an example for all white dudes, right? All white people. Um, at the end of the day, I think that a, a, a lot of people basically is, is, is more venting more so than anything because you're either on one side or the other. You're either for, well, actually, you could be for, against, or indifferent. So you're either for interracial, interracial relationships, you're against it. So if you're, if you're for it, uh, you got a problem with this. If you're against it, then, uh, then, well, actually, if you're for it, you have no problem. But if you're against it, then you have a problem with this. And so this proves your case. Uh, uh, this one case of the white dude, the five, one of the most despicable white person uh, that ever lived, ever walked the planet, this proves your case, right? But you know that the police is gonna do the same thing when the black person, the next time a black person kills a cop, and that will be another time. A black person kills a cop, they're gonna use that killing to justify their strong arming black folks in black communities uh, and, and saying that they feel they felt threatened to kill other blacks. Because remember, black dude killed the white cop. So all the white cops now have an excuse to say that, well, another excuse to say why they're so afraid of black people. You dig what I'm saying? So I'm just looking at it uh, from both sides. I'm looking at it objectively. You know, uh, I do think that black people, whether black or black, whether it be a black female or a black dude, uh, who date outside of their race simply because they say that they uh, can't find somebody in their race, I do think that those type of people are very confused. And I, I think it's something wrong with a person that thinks like that because it's totally impossible for, for uh, a group of people to have, for that to be how many millions of, whatever how many millions of people that's in your group and you have millions and you've dated, let's say, you know, a couple of people or five or 10, maybe you've dated 20 and none of them turned out right. Uh, the way I see it, uh, it could be you. It could possibly be you. It may not be the people that's within your race. It's probably you. So that means that you done messed up 20 dudes lives or you messed up 20 women lives and you blaming it on the entire race. Well, based on the five people that did you wrong or the three people that did you wrong, ain't none of the people in your race good enough for you to want to date again. So you date outside of your race and guess what happened? The same thing occurs because uh, people have many of the same characteristics, no matter what uh, uh, race that you're dealing with. And you got murderers and thieves and liars and crooks and rapists and everything else you can think of inside of every race. And it would be your luck to go find the worst of the worst outside of your race. So you get what you get in that regard when you jump out there like that. But I'll tell you, some of those girls were very, very young. 13 years old, I cannot say that I would be okay with saying, well, that's what she gets. I can't say that. These, kids, these girls are just growing up. You know, these are kids, you know, Think about when you were 13 years old. You didn't know what you know now. You know, you didn't, you wasn't aware of what was going on in the world. And if you're from the hood, you probably was just trying to survive. And even if you wasn't from the hood, if you're from the suburbs, you probably was green. 
So it was easy to take advantage of you. Come on, y'all. Y'all act like y'all ain't never won a prize on the, on the radio before. So, yeah, I, I can't co-sign that. I can't co-sign the, uh, the, you know, the girls, uh, underage girls uh, being taken advantage of because they're just, their minds are just not mature enough to be smart enough to know what they're doing and what the ramifications are for their actions. They're being targeted. They're the victims. They were targeted. They're victims. So I can't, I can't with a good conscience uh, attack them. In any way, I know some of y'all don't don't agree with that, and that's fine. Uh, you know, I don't look for people to agree with everything I say, but that's why you know we're all individuals, and we're all supposed to at least be free thinkers, right? Keisha Puller, appreciate you. What's up, July James? What it do? Let's get back to the question. Uh, the statements, your comments. South Bend, Indiana, Floyd Taylor, what up? No, it ain't too hard to say. Oh, won't you please just go away? Yeah. Yeah. Going away to Vegas. I'm tired of being used. What y'all know about that cell on? What y'all know about them Commodores? Go listen to that song after the broadcast. I can guarantee you love it. It'll, 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 remind, it'll remind you of why you love the song so much. One of the greatest songs ever written. Say hello. Talk about the nicest diss song ever. <laughs> he tell old girl to get on. He told her to sell on. You know, when you sell on, you know, like, man, you can end up anywhere. <laughs> Okay, uh, Flynn says the police knew about the guy since the 90s. Other black women warned about him, purposely affecting black women with HIV. Purposely infecting black women with HIV. So, the Flynn saying that the police already knew about, you know what, I, I, I think I, I do vaguely remember somebody saying that this guy had been on the police radar since the 90s. Since the 90s, y'all, this fool been active. Out here, rolling. Man, man, man. Trying to find one of his quotes because he was saying a whole lot. He was saying a whole lot in those uh, those Facebook quotes. Officials believe popular DJ had more victims. Officials believe. Popular DJ and more victims. All right, hopefully we can get some quotes off of this page.
folks. The Florence County Sheriff's Office, Florence Police Department, and South Carolina Law Enforcement Division believe there are additional victims or individuals who may be aware of additional crimes related to this case. If you have any information, please call SLED at 866-472-8477. And, and, th and this is why this is why I'm not, uh, you know, well, another reason why, you know, I won't say, well, good for them, because guess what? Those women are going to have sex with other people. And some of the people that are saying, uh, you know, good for them, they shouldn't have been doing this or that or that, guess what? It's possible that uh, somebody that, you, that they slept with uh, could end up sleeping with you. Uh, or it's possible that somebody that they slept with could have slept with another chick that slept with another dude that slept with another chick that you slept with. So, you know, like wishing something like that on people, uh, shit, man, AIDS could end up anywhere. You can start that one that AIDS virus, you can start that HIV, that AIDS virus anywhere, and it could end up anywhere. Start with one person, end up with a million people, 10 million, whatever, like it did. And it spreads like that. It's wide. So you got to be careful what you ask for. Yeah, it's, it's uh, not as easy to find. I thought it would be hard to find this, this info. Dude. But uh, I really wanted y'all to see these quotes. I mean, this fool is this fool is capping hard. Let's see. But uh, I'm pretty resilient. We'll find him and I will find those quotes. His neighbor said, one of his neighbors said, um, seeing who he had next door, these young girls. They looked like they were very, very young, underage maybe. And they stayed over there some, and then they disappeared. Ooh wee, man. Okay, y'all, what I tell you? What I tell you? Found them. Okay. Let me share this with y'all. Let's see. Uh... Okay, now y'all see what I see. So, so these are some of the girls that he was targeting. According to Jason Pope himself, he deliberately targeted black women and girls specifically. Okay, Jason Pope, why you hate black? Uh. 
go get AIDS. You already got them such, such, such. So you're saying that and if gave you AIDS, why did you have sex? Why did you hate sex? Why did you hate his sex? Get your da da da. Oh, this is okay. This ain't enough. Okay, uh, here we go again. Here we go again. And look at all these women. All these women. Y'all seen the commercial? When you have sex with this person, this has this person. You have sex with every person they've ever had sex with. And who and every person that person has sex with, and every person that person has sex with, and every person that person has sex with. So this is his pitch. I need a favor, but nobody can know we tell we talking. I will pay you three hundred dollars. Send me some sex videos. I need them to hear. Bye. You know who I am. You know how famous I can make you, the celebrities I can introduce you to. More more pictures of him and underage girls. This is a chick named uh, that's putting him on blast. So this is the effery. This end is a effing sad case. Y'all steady letting this man boost y'all. Young ladies, don't let this man fool y'all. Have respect for yourself. It's sad that he even tries to come on sexually towards young ladies. Remember, this can, I mean, this you can see, and well, remember this, you can see a famous person without having sex for tickets. Y'all better tell that. I think this is him again. LOL, I've been wanting to eat the baddest girl. Da, da, da. Here's made my dream come true. Oh no, kid, I don't get it. LOL, I've been wanting to eat. Da, da, da. Check him out, y'all. If I get 20 black bees this month and eat and F them, all I guess is all it's it's only because I'm DJ Kid. And yet they wonder why I get more black females than any black dude can get. It's simple. That's that's the quote that I was trying to get to, y'all. He said, check this out, y'all. And yet they wonder why I get more black females than any black dude can get. It's simple. 85% of black females want the interracial sex fantasy. So it's easy. It's simple. I mostly target 17 and 18 year old dark chocolate females. Here he is again, doing another one. Running game. So that's it, y'all. Little insight on how dude get down. Little insight on how you get down. But you gotta be a vibe person. You gotta be a very vile, despicable person get down like that. Let's see who over here in the super chat. Ain't that picture dusty? So that the haircut you have to roll up in prison with. Keith Jones. Well, that's the haircut you had to roll up in prison with. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's not going to last. He won't last at all in prison. Yeah, they're going to get him good. Let's see what y'all saying over here. So 
let me just say it. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, man. If you're on here saying something disrespectful about black women, I'm not reading your comment. And uh, you might get blocked. You know, like, if y'all want to vent and all that stuff, man, you know, like, this really ain't the page, page to do it. I'm not anti-black woman. So this ain't going to be a friendly page for you. You know, this ain't friendly territory over here, you know. And ain't nothing about me no simp because, you know, I ain't never been the type of dude that somebody could run over. But I, I understand that a community, a nation can be only as strong as its woman. And so, uh, you know, just because you experienced a little pain or a little disappointment or whatever you, you, you did with the woman or the women that's in your life uh, does not mean that you throw the baby out with the bathwater. No matter what, at the end of the day, uh, we need women and women need, we need those women to be healthy. We need them to be of sound body, mind and soul. And so uh, if they're already going through it and then we, we attacking them, constantly attacking them, then how does that improve our situation? Like I'm, I'm about solutions. I'm about getting better. I'm about having a better life. Uh, you know, you know, it, it's like it, it's like having a situation with 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 your, you know, like like you have a, a situation. With, let's say your car is 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 uh is acting up. Let's say your car is acting up, and instead of you taking the car to the repair shop and trying to get it fixed, you continue to drive that car and you continue to uh, put bad gas in it, don't change the filter. In other words, you don't manage it, you don't take care of it, but you want to continue to use it. That's the part. And, and, he, and here's the thing, like, a lot of us, we want to use each other for what we want, and then we don't want to. We don't want to deal with each other. We want to throw each other. We want to discard each other. To use you for what I need, my sexual pleasure, or my financial pleasures, or whatever that I need. And then after I'm done with that, then you ain't nothing again. See, that to me, that's super hypocritical. Like we, and especially like if you got daughters, and I'm talking to you dudes right now that's on here that are attacking women and saying and calling black women all these names and stuff, like. How do you have a daughter and hate black women? You hate which your daughter is to essentially become if she continues to lay down and wake up. She is going to become that black woman that you despise so much. How do you love her but hate all the other black women? She gonna sense that. She gonna, she gonna see your hatred for black women. And she is going to become that which you hate because she knows that you have no love for her, really. She knows essentially that you don't really love her because action speaks louder than words and she is watching your actions as much as she is listening to your words. So you gotta walk it, not just talk it. Uh, you know, hell. Some of y'all be tripping about how you, because you, you've been hurt. Hell, you ain't the only one been hurt. There's greater men than you and I that have been hurt by women. Hell, that's part of the game. You play the love game, you don't get hurt or you stand a chance of getting hurt if you play the game. It's called love, baby. And it's beautiful when you're in love and you're falling in love and it's all good, so enjoy. Because when it come down, you ain't gonna like it. But you fall off the horse and you jump back on when you dust yourself off and think you're strong enough to get back up there, you get back up there and you try it again. That's the way I do it. I'm the gangster love, baby, the clean up man. I understand how this thing goes. All of these dudes that be, you know, I just think when dudes are too over the top, too emotional, I think there's something wrong with those type of dudes. Men are supposed to be solution oriented. Men are supposed to like be able to compartmentalize their emotions, like take those emotions, put them over here and keep on moving, get up, get out, go get something. How do you hate black women so much but claim to love your aunt? You see your aunt and you say, okay, love you back, love you. Are you faking or are you, what's going on? You hate black women so much, but you love your grandmother. 
You hate black women so much, but you love your sister. I don't know. Maybe you hate all of them. But what I need is from you is some consistency. I want to see the consistency. And I just don't believe that you dudes who say that you hate these black women that you could possibly end up in relationships with uh, are the ones out there that you see as fair game. I just don't see you guys really, really hating your own mother to that extent, your own daughter, your own sister, your own aunt. I just don't see. Now, some of us, we don't give a damn about nothing. So I get that some of you are like that. But I just don't believe that the majority of you dudes that be venting and acting out and saying, hey, women this, black women this, and, oh, she did the right thing, did it. I just don't believe that you hate your own mother to that extent, your own sister, your own daughter, your own aunt. I don't believe that. So we got to get out of our damn feelings, man. It ain't manly. We got to get out of those feelings. I know some of y'all thought that because I put this post up that, you know, I was going to go in on black women and this. I'm not doing that, man. That's that's counterproductive. The You know, and, and I'm going to tell you something else. I do not put that much stock in who people sleep with because I don't have to sleep with them. I don't worry. It's like some of us, we so worried about who this person sleeping with this person. And this person ain't black enough to be called black. And this person ain't this. And this. Man, all that trivial shit is stuff that you cannot control. When you worry about things that you cannot control, you cause yourself way too much anxiety, stress, and you slowly kill yourself every day. I do not pay attention to stuff like that. I do not put that much stock in things that I cannot control. I just don't care that much. I just don't because there's nothing that I can do about it. Why? It's like, it's like the racist white cats that wake up every day mad at the world. Ain't nothing they gonna be able to do about black existence in America because we ain't going nowhere. So why bump your head? Why worry about it so much? It's nothing that these white nationalists is going to be able to do about immigration. America is an immigrant nation. It's nothing they're gonna be able to do about it. Yeah, you know, they can go try to bully a few people and all of that stuff, but we'll see how that turns out long term. But you're not going to be able to stop it. It's going to forever exist. So why put so much energy into it? To me, it just don't make sense. I'm solution oriented. That's where I'm at. But what say you? Bernard Washington. What's up, Bernard? Appreciate you. Famous Ogun. Balls deep content. You dig? <laughs> I like that. I like how that sound, bro. Balls deep content. Yeah, man, you sit around and just be worried about what people, who people dating and who this person sleeping with and, you know, what this person driving and what this person, and you were worried about all that stuff, man, that stuff don't make no difference in your life. That stuff ain't gonna change your life at all. You have no control over it. You gonna run yourself crazy. You gonna lose a bunch of years of your life with all that damn anxiety, all of that bitterness, all of that stress, I'm not going to do myself like that. If I hated somebody that much, I'm not going to hate them and then allow them to take days off my life oh, at the same time. For whatever reason, I don't like them. They've already caused me enough heartache. I'm not going to allow them to take control of my mind like that. I'm in control of my mind. I decide what's important. And what's important to me is 
is being able to deal with serious issues that that has an impact on my life and, and doing something about it. If I can't do something about it, then it ain't, it ain't really something that I that I can that I'm gonna waste a lot of time on. I'm just not. I'm solution oriented. But I'll tell you this, um, you can, this what dude did, this dude happens to be white. This could have happened to anybody. This actually could have happened to anybody. I know dude said that, you know, and, I, and like I said, I'm sure some of what he said about black uh, it's easy for him to, to sleep with these black women because some of them like that fat that white fantasy. They want that white fantasy. So it was easy for him to, to give them AIDS, to sleep with them. It was easy for him to give them AIDS and to, 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 to sell them into sex trafficking, uh, to, to, to dope them up. I'm sure that there were some like that, but a lot more of them were uh, taken advantage of because they were promised uh, gifts. They thought this dude was a legitimate radio DJ or uh, a DJ and they, they, they were winning gifts and uh, so we were able to lure them with the promise of, uh, of giving them gifts and some probably did go there uh, expecting okay I'm going to have sex and uh, he's going to give me some money uh, you know it's easy for somebody to say a person shouldn't be that kind of way when uh, they're not in that situation or they've never been in that type of situation where their stomach was growling. They were put out the house. They were homeless. They had nowhere to go. Uh, the, the situation that they're in at the moment, the house that they live in right at that moment is probably more dangerous than taking a chance on this whole stranger. Uh, some young girls don't even live with their mothers and fathers. They live at their grandmothers or they live with their boyfriend's parents who abuse them. And the boyfriend abuses them. Uh, this happens all the time. Or they live with an aunt and an uncle who abuses them, treats them way worse than their own mother or father are probably treated. So they, so when you start talking about, well, maybe this, is, this guy is, is, is my ticket out to help me out. And so it's easy to get lured into stuff like that. We got to stop acting so damn self-righteous, man. We got to start looking at the holistic uh, uh, you know, situation as opposed to just looking at situations like, oh, uh, that could never happen to me. Oh, uh, well, well they, that's what they get for doing this or that. People without moral flexibility scare the hell out of me. I think we have to, we have to be just a, a, a little bit more uh, cognizant you know, of the fact that situations, different, uh, that situations and circumstances control everything in our lives. Situations and circumstances control everything because just like this dude had his count at 700, I mean, there's a black dude, I think he was in Dallas or somewhere, he's, his count was like 100 and something. You did? And you know, whatever those numbers is, it could have been more. This dude said his numbers uh, was 700, it could have been less than 700, it could be more than 700, who knows? But the bottom line is that that, that that evil is all around us. And so we cannot be walking around here uh, trying to judge a person based strictly off of their skin color because that's how you really get it. You know, the majority of us, the, the wrong that's been done to us, like like personally done to us, the, the wrong that has given us our strongest convictions, how we feel about uh, relationships as far as like have been, some of us have been cheated on uh, more than likely, you know, if we don't date, out, date outside of our race, it was somebody that looked like us. Uh, many of us have been abused uh, physically, mentally, emotionally. Uh, oftentimes that more than likely, 
it was somebody that looks like you that did that to you. Uh, betrayed, we've had friends that betrayed us. You know, if you don't mess with people that don't look like you, then more than likely that friend was that looks like you. So these are some of our strongest convictions, right? that we have in, in life. And what shaped them is people that look like us. So if we're gonna keep it real, let's keep it all the way real. You know, I judge everybody on the content of character. I watch them. I watch them all. Because I done been done dirty uh, by them all. So I'm watching them all. All right, fam, uh, been on here longer than I wanted to be on here. I just wanted to drop this on y'all and make y'all aware of what's going on. And um, yeah, wanted to make y'all aware of what's going on in South Carolina. Y'all gotta be very, very careful out there because danger comes in all shapes, sizes, and colors. So if you've been done wrong by people within your culture, your race, don't think that the answer for you being done right is running away because all you gotta do in most cases is run right into the arms of more danger. That's all I got for you today, y'all. No more talk.